Good morning guys, Chris here. You join me for yet another road trip video. Today we're going from Oslo to Bergen across the Scandinavian Alps, across the Hardangervidden mountain pass in the Polestar 2 long range dual motor. Yeah, and it is blowing here in the morning here in Norway. And guys, it's so nice to be back in Norway because we are at this random parking lot where I, you know, close to where I live, where I usually, you know, charge my car. And then we have one EV, two EV, three EVs, four, five, six, and seven and eight including mine so 90 percent of this parking lot here are just evs that is amazing and guys i've been on a trip to italy for the past five days if you haven't seen those videos links in the description box down below here with a postcard too a quite epic trip but i was in an accident where i you know uh, got some damage to the car but i washed it yesterday and look at this guys so basically nothing here and then this is just a dent so yeah that is pretty pretty turned out much better than i uh, hoped actually so we are charged now to 100 percent and also just before you guys go commenting down below i'm going to address this like in previous videos when i crossed the uh the mountain to to bergen with my daughter she will be riding up front with me in the front seat in a child seat she is protected she is strapped she is old enough to ride in the front seat according to you know government uh, recommendations and it's much safer if you have you know a child to have them ride up front with you than in the back seat if you are alone with them because they are going to require some service and maintenance on the trip and having to turn around to help them yeah that's dangerous having them right next to you that is much much safer so and of course the airbag is disconnected in the front passenger seat we are now oscar mike and we are about half an hour outside of oslo We've covered 24 point or 25 kilometers and consumption 23.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and 29 minutes on the road. And we are at, you know, an elevation when we are driving out of Oslo on our way to Hønefoss. And it's quite weird to be back on Norwegian roads. It kind of reminds me of, of course, some of the roads in Switzerland and Austria over the Alps, which is to be expected because we are, you know, in mountainous area. But what we don't have on our way to Bergen is many sections of four lane roads there is some and they are now constructing a new four lane motorway from also to Hønefoss which should you know take a few years and we just passed some construction you guys probably saw that from the b-roll so yeah our total trip today is 450 kilometers and we are you know navigated to our first charging stop and probably our only charging stop which is at McDonald's in Flo yes it will be another day with McDonald's because me and my daughter want to get some breakfast and it's a nice place to stop to get breakfast and to charge the car but you guys can see that the car's estimating we will arrive with 70 percent battery and i think charging there for half an hour you know won't give us you know maybe we'll go to 90 95 percent if we are lucky but that will probably give us enough juice to make it all the way to bergen but we'll just have to see maybe if that charging stop is short we'll have to just top up somewhere on the way welcome to floor this is where we are going to eat me and my daughter and we arrived here with a 73 percent battery so three percent more than the car was estimating and yeah we really don't need to charge now but since we're already stopping <laughs> We could just, uh, I mean, it's dumb not to charge. And they also have, you know, set up a few new chargers here, um, here at uh, the uh, small shopping center here in Floor by the McDonald's, some new med chargers. And I think these are Delta chargers, 150. And they were, you know, installing them last time we were here. And they should be right. Yeah, look at this guys, this is a brand new, charging station look at this over here okay so we are going to um, let's go ahead and just turn quickly around here just do a u-turn like this and then yeah okay because we have the charger on the left side look at this guys this is brand new so 
we are going to connect here yeah these are delta chargers but with only two chargers because of the stalls there and okay guys just look at the consumption now quickly before we hop out uh, we are now at 18.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers average speed 67 kilometers an hour because yeah you know norwegian roads two lane roads and then one hour and 39 minutes on the road and 106 kilometers covered so let's go ahead and go out put the car into park and then we will connect to the charter here and as like throughout all of europe i can use my e-tron card on this and uh, let's go ahead and swipe my card here that's quite interesting you know this card works everywhere and since this card is all already laying on the ground i don't need to you know uh, hold the connector here and also these aren't the phoenix connectors that usually fail but let's go ahead and see if we no we actually failed yeah interesting okay maybe we'll have to do that again okay why won't it release the cable then there okay let's try that again but that's annoying that it failed okay second time's a char maybe less than as a precaution try to hold the connector again swipe our card connecting and just as a precaution guys because as i've said in so many videos before communication happens through the top port of the dc charging you know where the actual dc charger uh, connector is and while initializing if the gap is too big it will fail to uh to communicate with the protocol but okay we are now charging and you know we are at 73 percent so we shouldn't be uh getting uh, too much speed and you know if i was uh, if it was really busy now now we are in august and there they have four chargers there if we were super busy i would have connected to maybe one of the 50 kilowatt chargers they have over here uh, instead of you know occupying uh, a 150 stall but okay it's fine now uh, there isn't much traffic here so yeah I think we're just gonna go in get some breakfast and then uh, yeah I'll see you guys on the road a thousand meters above sea level and halfway between Oslo and Bergen we have the popular ski destination of Yailo, and then at the Circle K station, we have, I think, three or four 150 kilowatt chargers that are usually always busy, and yeah, they are all occupied now, guys. That was quite interesting. So, as I said, we are halfway between Bergen and Oslo. We're about a thousand meters per, uh, above sea level, and consumption has therefore risen to 19.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, 207 kilometers is the distance travel so we're a little bit shorter than half distance halfway but you know it's about halfway we've been on the road for three hours and the car is estimating we should arrive in three hours and 50 minutes and that is because on the other side of the mountain well it's a little bit longer and then also we should have slower moving uh you know roads and speed limits average speed 71 kilometers an hour that is not high but again on two lane norwegian roads we won't get much higher average speed than that but what's interesting is that the car's estimating 13% battery when we arrive now. We charged at floor to 95%, so we charged for about 37 minutes. You know, we just went in, ate, and then when we were finished, we hopped in the car. I mean, no stress at all. That was a pit stop we were going to make anyways. But now we're going to be able to make it. But I'm going to uh, catch up with you guys when we get to the highest point over the Hardangevidden Pass which is about 12 or 1300 meters. And then we're going to check the battery percentage. We're now at 69%. And then we're going to see what percentage when we are, what we get in regeneration when we get down to sea level again. I think that will be very interesting. about 1200 meters above sea level on top of the Hardangevid mountain pass and this place is pretty spectacular and so is this car this car is such a weapon with this power on tap I mean passing is so effortless it's so quick the acceleration I mean it's so safe just a small gap and then you know just squeeze the right 
pedal and then you're just gone no drama at all and yeah it's such a nice car to drive i mean this is day six guys of me driving this car at the end of the day i would have covered like 5,300 kilometers in six days and this is such oh my god look at these roads guys look at these roads this is a special place and you know we're just beginning this trip here across the Norwegian nature I know I've just been to the Alps the Alps is a nice place but this is I mean this is breathtaking this is such a beautiful place and you feel like it's so remote even though we're only about three and a half hours from Oslo three and a half hours from Bergen but yeah okay guys so we're not at the absolute peak now we are now entering Vestlande County and I think we're gonna hit a peak about 13 maybe 1400 meters but we're now at 57 percent battery so it will be interesting to see how much battery we have when we are at the bottom of the mountain here in Eidfjord at sea level again. down at sea level next to well the fjord here this is the ocean water the fjord that's why it's called a fjord and not a lake and not anything else but okay when we started descending we were at 54 percent and we had covered 260 kilometers we have now covered 293 and we are at 56 we were actually at 57 so we gained three percent battery that is uh, quite a gain. And that means we will arrive at our destination with 18% battery now. And guys, look at this beautiful nature here. I hope you guys are enjoying the B-roll. I am enjoying the view at least. little less than an hour to go until we are in Bergen and we are driving alongside Sørfjorden, Veafjorden here and yeah the scenery on our way to Bergen the last hour is pretty spectacular but again nothing compared to the nature in yeah other places in western Norway that we are going to explore most likely in the next video and I know I keep saying that but I don't I just want to I want to build it up for you guys so you're going and watching this aren't saying like oh isn't it gonna get better than this is this the best nature you got on the west coast of norway no most definitely not but okay consumption though that's why i'm going to <laughs> update you guys 16.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers we've been on the road for five hours and 51 minutes with uh, out charging almost covered 400 kilometers and guys that low consumption means that the car is estimating we will actually arrive in Bergen at our destination with 21% battery that is interesting this number just keeps rising and rising and rising and what is interesting is that remember we went from 73 to 95% battery and quick math says that is 22% so I don't know if we arrive with 23% or even with 22%. That means we maybe didn't have to even charge to go to Bergen with the Polestar 2 from Oslo. I mean, that is quite amazing. So yeah. And also, I started talking about earlier, I don't know if I finished my sentence, but I've almost done, or I've covered more than 5,000 kilometers with this car now in six days. And I'm not tired at all. These seats are amazing. The driving position is, is great and also, the ergonomics are awesome. So, I mean, yeah, this is such a good car to take on a long trip.
After six hours and 45 minutes, we are here at our destination at my sister's house actually here in Bergen. And yeah, the Polestar 2 was a champion today. Such a wonderful car to drive across, you know, the Hardangeviden, across the mountain pass from Oslo to Bergen. You know, it's sporty handling and firm ride and, you know, precise steering and just, you know, overall, uh, the way it drives is such a nice car to drive on the twisty roads across the mountain and also the power is so relentless and consumption today ended at 16.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers which is extremely low though average speed only 69 kilometers an hour that's you know normal when crossing from Oslo to Bergen and we arrived with 23 percent battery so if we do some math here that means if we didn't charge we could have arrived here with one but it's not that easy because remember we connected to a charger meaning that we warm up the battery but temperature today has been between 21 and 13 degrees you know cold when we are crossed over from you know the mountain but uh, here are 17 degrees and we had uh, 21 degrees further up uh, you know in Vols. so I mean operating temperature even though we didn't stop to charge we would I don't we still would have been at quite optimal temperature so guys I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always guys please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye <laughs>